So this is the outside. Guessing this must be the place. Hello world, it's your Uncle Heavy here with my weekly vlog. Today I'm on location in North Tonawanda, New York. I'm here to visit the Herschel Carousel Museum here. Really, really fantastic place. It is a former factory that they have turned into a museum. They used to manufacture hand-carved carousels here back in the 1930s. So I'm gonna go in, check the place out, bring you with me. Let's go get some tickets and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Do come along. <laughs> It's actually been added to the National Register of Historic Places. This is called the Testing Park Area for the Kitty Land because there was a time where the Herschel Company actually manufactured the concept of the kitty ride or the amusement ride for the small child. Here's some of the rides on display here. We're going to go in there in a little bit. What's kind of unique about this place is its location. You can see just to the left, that's somebody's house right there. I think it would be kind of cool having an amusement park ride just outside your window. What do you think? That is so cool. Let's go inside. So, oh my gosh, I am so excited about coming in here and checking this place out. Look at this. This is amazing. This is an old steam train. This is actually a 15 gauge steam train that was manufactured. There's all kinds of great details on the cost for purchasing it. But check it out. Look, it's this Armitage Herschel, North Tonawanda, New York. Here's an example of one of the kiddie rides they designed. They said during the Cold War, the space race was hot. So lots of designs went into designing the space themed vehicles. Here is a little dipper they have on display, still on its tracks. Looks like there's an inspection seal uh, from Ontario, Canada. Nice big black and white here of what it would look like when it was out in the field. Some more kitty car rides here. Thinking these were either electrical driven or we're driven by a spoke wheel in the middle. It's very, very cool and an amazing condition for their age. They're about circa 1930. So here's just a little bit of the evolution of the company and the different names it operated under. And here's a portrait of the man himself, Alan Herschel. So the Herschel Carousel Factory Museum is located at the original factory site in Thompson Street here in North Tonawanda. It opens its doors to the public in 1983. The original buildings were constructed between 1910 and 1915. There are six sections to it. Originally it was known as the Allen Herschel Company. The company was founded in 1915 and specialized in making portable machines to be used in traveling carnivals. The company produced over 3,000 hand-carved carousels. According to the museum's website, there are over 71 Herschel carousels out in the U.S. and Canada to this day. So the company continued to operate here straight through to the 1950s until it was moved to Buffalo and was eventually sold in the 1970s. Oh wow, let's just take a walk in here. Absolutely fascinating. 
So now this room here is known as the paint room. When it was a factory, this is where all the animals would be painted by hand before mounted on the carousels. So here's a bit of a comparison here. This is a hand carved one from the 1920s. This is a poured fiberglass one from 2008. You could see the difference in the intricacy. Isn't it amazing? Somebody hand carved every little detail on this carousel animal. Absolutely beautiful. Just look at the amazing details and hand carving in this horse here. It says circa 1912. It says this particular animal was purchased and made into sort of a stand line ride for a child. This is a side of a chariot from 1890s. And this is how it was explained that they started drifting from the conventional horse and started putting saddles on different animals like in this case a dog or a pig. Look at his little curly tail there. It's just amazing what kind of shape these are still in after all these years. I mean, just look at every little notch in the feather there. Somebody carved that by hand. This is the side of another chariot here. It's like a Viking warrior driving a dragon. Ostrich. Zebra. I mean, look at the, look at the way his mane is cut here. Fascinating. Now this is an interesting display. These were not actually carousel animals, but it says that if, if you see right here, there's a like a metal plate on the head. It was like a, a test of strength at a carnival. You could see uh, there's a hammer here that you would strike the bull on the head as hard as you could, and you could win three cigars. Kind of mean, isn't it? I have a reservation to ride the main carousel here at 1.30. So now I'm actually going to take a ride on the main carousel. You can't see me smiling ear to ear under this mask. Just, just a view of the mechanics of what drives the carousel. So you can see the carousel sits in what's called the building's roundhouse. This is where the company would actually assemble the completed carousels and test all the mechanics before sending them out. What I didn't even notice about this carousel is it has an old brass ring arm here. Now, I kind of did this when I went to Knoebels, but that arm extends out and you can grab a brass ring as you go by. Oh, during in the bell, here we go. That over there is called a band organ. That's what we were playing the music with when we were riding the carousel. Would you mind turning on the band organ? Two minutes. That part later.
cool. Very, very cool. Thank you so much. Wow. So it works off the motor underneath. The motor then connects to the wheel here. Hi, guys. We're going to be operating this one fully at 2 o'clock. What? 2 o'clock. Right? So this is the original motor right here that drove this carousel. And here's a real nice close-up of the original mechanism. Oh, wow. Awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. I just got the special behind the scenes tour of the main carousel where I got to see the organ box, the workings of the organ box, and the workings of the carousel. Very, very cool. I'm just so jazzed about that. Now this area is what's called the master carving area. The skilled craftsmen would carve every single one of these horses. On display, we could see where workmen would work. There's a lathe right here. You could see what the rough looked like before they carved them into animal shape. see the animals are put together in a hollow box construction. Yeah, they called them hollow boxes. Here's a video. Gives you an example. Here's one in a various state of carving. Here's an interesting reading. It says that the company, no one person created an entire horse. It said the apprentices carved the legs and tails while the journeymen carved their bodies and the master carvers not only created the heads and necks but assembled the animal by gluing it together as original components. So here on display is another organ box. I believe this was running when I first arrived here. But this has another rich history with North Tonawana because you'll see it's a Wurlitzer organ box. Now, Wurlitzer was also located here in North Tonawanda. We may touch on that a little bit more at a later time. I mean, look at the absolute beautiful. I mean, not only do they sound beautiful, but look at the aesthetics. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look, look at all those hand-tuned, hand-carved pipes there. You can see there's a snare drum here. And that's what would hit it. Now, as it was explained to me before, how these music boxes work, they're completely pneumatic. And when one of the paper rolls had a hole in it, it would let the air escape. But each hole activated either a mechanism that drove a pipe or a various instrument on the organ box. Look at these horns here. Just some pipes here and some spare parts they have on display, gear mechanisms. There's a work order. I don't see a date on it, but it looks pretty darn old. And a symbol and a little bellow that looks like it activated it. Looks like at one time the Herschel company actually made car engines and transmissions as well. This piece is absolutely amazing. Look at the intricacy in that. All the little hand laid glass jewels in it. What amazes me is when you look at a hand carved piece like this and the way it's finished, it almost does look so perfect that it, you would think it's fiberglass cast, but that's hand carved wood. This is what we were touching on before where they were drifting away from the, the carousel horse and putting saddles on different animals that you could ride. I look at this horse and I wonder how many miles it's traveled around in circles in its lifetime. I almost completely missed this one. Look at this frog. Just outside you could see the kitty land. We'll be taking a tour of that shortly. Oh my gosh, they manufactured dark rides. I had no idea the Herschel company made dark rides. Haunted houses, specifically. Now, I remember as a kid growing up in a city called Parsippany, New Jersey, there was a kitty land. They also have a kitty carousel on display as well. Good job. Right. Now, as much as I'd love to ride that, no, see, I think I'm just a wee bit too big for this one. I also did want to mention here that they are enforcing social distancing and there is plenty of hand sanitizer to be had as needed when you visit. I then go ahead and take a video of whatever you'd like, yeah. you know? That'd be awesome. Sure. Uh, each one of the uh, rides has a little information on it, okay. where it came from, what year it is, stuff like that. Okay, great. I was just brought into what's called the Kitty Land of the park. Now, 
if you come and visit here, you can actually come and ride all these rides. Okay, I'm so excited because Eddie, they gave me clearance to ride this kitty ride, where? this helicopter ride. So I'm super, super excited I can't see you. to get up on this. Here's one of the several kitty rides that are here. It's kind of like Dumbo, where you pull the bar back and you go up. So it looks like they're closing up the kitty land. Probably gonna be our cue to exit. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the staff here at the Herschel Museum. They were incredibly accommodating and took lots of extra time to show me the inner workings, a lot of the things, and even allowed me to ride one of the kitty rides and the carousel. So if you're in the area, I highly recommend checking out this museum. Well, that's gonna do it for this vlog. I hope you really enjoyed it as much as I sure enjoyed making it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up down below and share with your friends. If you're new to my channel, check out some of my other vlogs. If you like them, consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified of any future vlogs I put up. Till next time, signing off from North Town 1 in New York. Bye bye